Hey y'all, so I am behind the garage today in what has become a catch-all area for all the junk that we don't want to see. And originally this is where my compost bin was and I can hardly get to it. So I'm going to be cleaning this area up today. And part of that cleanup is going to involve replacing the compost bin that originally started out as a dog house for a daughter that we had living here. And we are going to be making the new compost bin out of a trash can. I don't know how many gallons it is. Um, it's over 55 gallons, I know. Now you can do what we had originally done and build it out of wood, but the wood is now rotting and the structure is no longer sound. So we have decided it would be better to make it out of um, a trash can, which I have done in the past with a 55 gallon drum as well. You can get any kind of the, of the plastic trash cans that like Lowe's or Home Depot, those will work. And as I have stated in the past, composting is not difficult. It's as difficult as you want to make it. What I first want to do is get that trash can turned into a compost bin. And I'm going to do that by drilling holes so that we can keep oxygen flowing into the trash can. And because we don't want it to become anaerobic, which means no oxygen is getting to the ingredients that we're going to be putting into the compost bin. So let's get started on drilling holes in the compost bin and then we'll move on to cleaning up this area. Okay, so this is the trash can I'm gonna use. I have a paddle bit on my drill and I'm just gonna start drilling holes. I want several holes in here so that any liquids that are in here will drain out through the bottom. That's the first step. Another reason that you drain, uh, another reason that you drill holes in the bottom is so that worms can get up in here because you want worms in your compost bin to help break down all of that material. All right, so now that I have my holes in the bottom, I'm going to start drilling holes up along the top. This does not have to be in a straight line. This, this isn't something that has to be perfect. You can see about how far I'm putting my holes. Again, not perfect in a perfect line or perfectly spaced apart. Here we go. Got holes all the way around. Get some nice aeration going. And if I want to use the lid, I can. And if not, 
I can just leave it open like that. Here's the area I was talking about that has become a catch-all for everything. Here's the before. And we'll see what the after looks like once I get this out of here. And it started raining on me, which I'm not going to complain about because we need a lot of rain. So I'm going to go in and do something else and pick this up in a little while. Okay, well, like I said before, it's very important that you properly layer the stuff that you're going to be putting in your compost bin so that it doesn't smell. So normally, I'm going to take something like these leaves that I gathered out of my yard and put those in there. Then I might take this, which is my kitchen scraps, and put that in there. I put cardboard and paper in there to cover the kitchen scraps. These cartons that your eggs come in, now I don't buy eggs, but when people give me an excess amount of these, I will put these into my compost bin. We save our coffee grounds, including filters, and those so you can see it those go in the compost bin and you can put grass clippings all kinds of things in there I don't put meat in mine some people do but basically this is all that goes into my compost bin and then I don't do anything but let it sit so you can see what's in here and because I have vegetables showing next I want to cover this with something like leaves so that this doesn't start to smell. All right, all of that's covered with leaves. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to start cleaning this area out. I had to put this on here to keep a chicken out of there. Because she started laying her eggs in here. Now I'm going to take all of this and put this into the new compost bin and let it finish composting. I'm sure there's plenty of worms in here by now. And uh, get this old rickety compost bin burned. We even have insulation sitting here. This has just, this has got to go. So let's get that done.
Okay, well, it's over 100 degrees outside. I think we can all agree that that looks 100% better back here. I still have a little bit of stuff to finish up, but I'm calling it quits here. And I'm going to go in and have me some iced tea. So I hope this video was helpful for y'all. Remember to layer your greens and your browns so it doesn't stink. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I usually respond to pretty much every question. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.